I lived. Somehow yeah. I lived. I lived to tell the tale. I lived, bitch. Let's play some Outer Wild. This game is almost done, I think. Jesse informed me that. No, pump your brakes, buddy. <laughs> We're probably done today. Probably done today. I'm just saying, it's not going to be like a walk to the hoop and, and put it in, you know? No, of course not. It's not going to be a layup, they call it. But we can go take a look at our uh, ship log just because, uh, see where we're at. Always a good way to start the stream. Yeah. Everything except... We have... Sixth location. Didn't you get that? What, what no, say we that? figured out how to get there. Which okay. was... Um, to explore the sixth location, the, shri uh, the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the n moon's north pole. Okay, that was the new clue mm -hmm. you got. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Hi, Ryan. Hello, Brian. So, um, and then I, I also gave you the little clue that um, at the um, shoot, the Ash Twin Project, there is another alternate ending you can get there. Or there's some, like, more mm. interesting mm -hmm. stuff you could do there. So that was another kind of, like, potential clue to follow. Okay. Well, we should go to... Was it the escape pod? Was that the best way to get to the map thing? Uh, for the quantum move? Or was there actually, like, a... You can find the quantum moon just with your tools. With your That's... available tools. Yeah, you've got your audio thing. I mean, usually, like, we just kind of go out in the space and see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The best scientific tool, your eyes. In fact, is that it? Uh... Wait. There. There you go. Oh, it's going I against us. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get in there. Oh, fart. Ah. Oh, no. Never mind. Oh, I hate that moon. <laughs> Wesley Moon. I mean, I could just. You took a picture, and then you were like, that's good enough, and you put the picture away. Yep. Yep. I was like, I'm not going to say anything. I kind of realized that I was doing it. There we go. I kind of realized that I was doing it. Um... You need, yeah. There. You can also shoot one when it's really close. That way you just. There it is. It's like a reassuring friend. Alright. It must exist. It must exist. And it's gonna have a <laughs> I forgot that's like the landing right there. <laughs> Yeah, okay. it's not a big planet. Okay. So let's go ahead and... Oop. Let's just park. Let's just park. There we go. What it... Would it have atmosphere? Ryan, how was, how was your day? Uh, it was good. Brian's here. Okay, cool. <laughs> Nothing special, it's just a Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, it. in it. Um, Ryan, thank you for playing so many games with me on the, uh, on the stream. I hope I didn't get too competitive. <laughs> Playing Soul Calibur 2, I was like, oh man, I got it's okay. Away. I was, I was like, oh my god, not another one. Because it was already at that point where it's like... Wait. Mario partying. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh, it's nice stars. Are we on the south? I just want to keep mine. You you always start at the south pole. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the blue is the south pole. Okay, so I'm assuming that we can't get to the north pole. Okay. Except for like a a different area. Because there's mm. there's no way around oh, yeah. to get to the north. As you can see. Yeah, let's go to a different quantum moon location. Different quantum zone. And yeah, so the, the clue was you can only get to the sixth. You can only explore the sixth location from the North Pole. Right. The North yeah. thingy. It doesn't look that much light out there, but like, mm -hmm. uh, it still counts, I guess. Oh, I guess this is a light too. Yeah. Oh, hey, what's up? Let's just go take a look. We're here. What if we just happened to? Uh... Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Well, you don't you don't move on the <laughs> glow. I know. Hey, Tarks. Hey, Tarks. Tarks got to see my true light. self uh, at the end of the. Uh, <laughs> the stream. Ed, the sixth location must be Santa's workshop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like ghost sand. Mm hmm. I really like how it mirrors the. the astral body that it's around. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Any thoughts, guys? On what to do with this? I'm kind of... Don't walk. keep walking around the, the equator. We. <laughs> so if you go up on the rocks, you Fly out in space. Is I that feel like it? that we'll be flying out into space, but I mean, I could try. I can go ahead and confirm that that is not the solution. No, don't try. Okay. I mean, there's the ship here. Yeah, we'll just try a different planet. Okay. No. We know those shells are not good. <laughs> We were already here. Should I check anyways? Well, hold on a sec, because... No. Yeah, I don't... Okay. Okay. Look, I don't think there's any mountains on this time. one, so... Hopefully, we could get to the surface... Or the... North... Yeah, winner, winner. <laughs> Aha, but... We are met with a similar... problem. <laughs> it does push me away. Oh, hi. Alright, well, at least we're on the North Hemisphere, so turn around, like, around here, and until you find the tower, and maybe any other planet since we're on the North side now. Like, we'll be good. Good thinking. How long did I sleep after the stream? Uh, six hours. That's from, not enough. From like eight to two, and then my body's like, get up, it's time to get up. Oh no. Oh yeah, cause yeah, it's the, it's the full on day. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, uh, well, this sound, this looks like a good spot. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Yeah, just, whoop. there we go. 
<laughs> We're gonna do it. <laughs> Still see the eye. And then what's funny is I tried, I couldn't go to sleep uh, until um, I really couldn't fall asleep until like 12 o'clock that night. Mostly because I woke up at 2. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. Keep the lights off. Oh. And now... Oh, okay. Keep them off. Okay. Keep the lights off and flash. flash there you light. go. No, pick up. No, keep your light on. <laughs> yeah. I know, there I'm just making go. sure I didn't, like, lose sight of it. <laughs> Yeah. Yay. Hmm. Should I have? Well, it's too late now. Look up. <laughs> Didn't we see an eye or something? Oh, Should I take a picture Some of this so we don't lose it? Yeah, sure. I didn't see an eye, did I? Where no, did when you? we threw the camera out there. Back. Didn't we see quote unquote something moving when right. we? had thrown the camera yeah, out. Yeah, but that was at the South Pole. So we have to go back to the South Pole. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying we're here. In we are theory, here. Oh, you mean the... Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We may see another man. A man? A man. So, yes, uh, I was talking uh, before the stream started. Uh, if we finish this game tonight... Uh, I will probably call it there if even if there's time left because I'm still pretty tired. Hello. What's uh What's going on here? What's this what we did see this outside. Yeah. Hi. Oh, oh hey buddy. He, he's alive. Solanon. Cool. I know my. Can you take off his helmet? He take off his helmet. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> um. Uh huh. It's Santa. It's our no, my Santa. I got a picture of it, man. Well, thank you. Here, hold on. Let's, let's get you in there. You, so, there you go. There we go. Stolen him as, stolen him as a lady. I thought it was uh, gender neutral. Can you touch him? No, your, your species is gender neutral. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, I can touch them. <laughs> yeah. Mm. What a touching moment. No, no, the, the icons. Oh. Take out your, ah. put away your camera. <laughs> Let's see what you're saying, Ryan. Oh. Oh, they're the little stone things. Identify me. Identify me. Yeah. Hmm. Never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. Your special eyes. There are many questions I would ask. If I could comprehend your language, you have my gratitude for understanding mine. Oh, huh, okay. How am I feeling? Asks Kit. Uh, very tired still. <laughs> but I will power through. Um, this was great. Thanks, thanks, sir. Would you guys like to know anything else? Should what we did leave? you want to do? With, what's the other one? Uh, like, explain. <laughs> Can't we go through them all? Yeah. Sure. Explain me. This reminds me of that translation game. Imagine your purpose here is the same as mine to learn about and find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here. However, perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did. Uh, I think so. Nah, yeah. bruh. You came here. I came from here. Oh, well, yeah. You don't know where the sixth location is, so. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon's surface does now, while at the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any uh, characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum, thus the eye is likely also quantum. In fact, this moon is probably quantum because it's in its proximity to the eye made it quantum. Oh, okay. Uh, the same way the areas surrounding quantum shards that landed on other planets eventually become quantum, too. Hmm. I'll just do explain for all the thingies. Oh, wait, what was this? You. 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 I'm on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All know my and the clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I've journeyed here to be close to the eye. While the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the quantum moon reflection of the eye in the sky above. Can we? I guess I'll have to check sometime. Tell me about the eye. Explain the eye. Explain the eye real quick. Let me lay it down for you. There's fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits my, uh, macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in the star system. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. I see. Let me put this back for you. Are you clear on your... Explain, explain, identify. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, you dumb idiot? <laughs> absolute chud. You're... Oh. I see. Uh, I guess we'll, we're doing the identify now. We identified me already. Mm -hmm. This. This is the quantum moon where we are both standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Okay. I am Sol Solanum? Solanum? Mm -hmm. I know my. My clan arrived in this uh, in this star system before my birth, and we now call it home. Rad, dude. I'm super rad. <laughs> we are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. Uh, the eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around the star system. Hmm. Do, um, me and you. Oh, you can combine these. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, me and you. Friends. do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. No, not at all, dude. I don't know how many of them have special things. I think it might just be me and you. 
Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer would might be? It's a great question, man. I don't know, man. Heavy shit. Some heavy shit. <laughs> you having a peyote? <laughs> <laughs> Ed, online dating reply like that can be rough. I assume he means like that. There's not much connection between, between us you and, and I. I. <laughs> um, is this your first time on a quantum moon? It's my first time here. If you've come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. All right. I'll do uh, him and the the uh, the eye. Do do you? It's a her, by the way. Um, do her and uh, Quantum Moon. You and Quantum Moon, too. I don't know if you I did that. I just did the... I thought I did me and Quantum Moon, but... Mini Clan had believed the eye called... Her, 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 her and Quantum Moon. My bad. No, I, I mean... Yeah, not not the main character, but this other character. In yeah. Many in my clan have believed the eye called... That's for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the eye was malevolent. To have lured my clan to the star system only to then vanish from them so completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, uh, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself someday. But I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Hope not. That was the one. That was the one I wanted to get. Yeah, do you guys understand what's going on there? About uh, her reference to being not entirely alive? Not really. Ryan, not Katie, any thoughts? Uh, well, can you really exist if you're on the six or the the moon. You, your character is. Don't you become right quantum? Ah, so the uh, you you guys will recall that on every other yeah moon you see the dead body. Yeah. So, uh, Solanum is Schrodinger's cat. Yeah. They're both the alive. Flux in state. Shoot your camera. Yeah, you can go up there. <laughs> hmm. But what I don't really get is how is Solanum alive like 200,000 years? Probably time doesn't work the same over here. Yeah. What if okay. I flew up in there? I'll take it. I think I think there's some dialogue where, where she says like she doesn't really know how long she's been here. Like it kind of feels like she hasn't been here very long. It feels like she's been here her whole life, so. Here, did I do this? I'll find out. Many of my clan before me a journey to see the quantum moon's reflection of the yeah. eye. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was the same. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. It led to the same result. Mm hmm. Cool man. Or cool dude. <laughs> man is my general term. Yeah. Ooh! Oh, there we go. Oh, there she is. Oh. But yeah, didn't we find her tape here or something? Yeah, point? it's yeah. somewhere. It, on her ship as well. We're on the north side now. That, well, no, we're, we're always on the, on the north side. side. I think you're on the south side. On to the south Did side. You, Whipping you, um, hand as we start to <laughs> ride. <laughs> I always forget which side is which. This is the south side, yes. Yeah. Red is north. Well, now we're also like... It's not the north or the south. Side. really weird. Oh, there. That's why. The. Oh. I have. Started here. I have no ship. No, you don't. I know. Pick the Except for that phone. other one. Yeah, we yeah. have one. Oh, we did. 
I mean, then again, yeah. we are right by Timberhearth. You just fly home. Yeah. Just fly home. You have low fuel, but plenty of oxygen. Yeah. Give it, give it a whirl. Away! Uh oh. You could go to Ash Twin. Oh. If you land in the geyser, that'll break your fall. <laughs> if you go right in the center there. You are falling very fast. <laughs> the best I could do. <laughs> We're good Man, though. He's too right. And that was wow. such a heavy crack. Well, we're on planet. Whoa. Where's your ship? <laughs> ship. Oh, there's the moon. There. Perfect. Um, I forget. Did somebody on this uh, on our planet mention that? Um, hey, there's a moon that's here sometimes, but then also not. I forget. Yeah. Okay. I think on all the planets, there's like some indication of it. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, I guess technically you don't need to wear your helmet. Yeah, I can't really just take it off, I don't think. Oh. Until I'm in my... Good news! <laughs> oh, you can't do the super boost. That makes sense. I think the ship's just floating. Can you not? It might be. Or is it on the quantum moon? Call it. Quantum moon's over there. Oh. Yeah, then I don't know where your ship is. Hey, home. It probably f got flung off near Giant's Deep or something again. What a strange planet. Right. They, they look just like us. <laughs> Alright, so it's your goal now. Probably gonna have to meditate at this point. Well, it's gonna end soon, anyways. No. Uh, oh, yeah. I would mm -hmm. like to see the ship log. Mm hmm. To see uh, what happened there. I could just I meditate. Think you found everything there. Or. I mean, yeah. We can just I sit down and have a nice marshmallow. See, Patty couldn't show her the picture of you guys, or whoever drew the picture of your species meeting them. Be like, hey, mm -hmm. historical stuff. <laughs> you know about this shit? I'd be in You know about stuff. this shit, though? Hmm? Hey, let me Got tell it. you a story. Hey, buddy, you want to listen? <laughs> You do the Ethan Winters, like, juggling guns. Like. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I remember when you were last on the Quantum Moon, you are like, there's something out, there's someone out there, but you never mm -hmm. went to check it out. Yeah, I think... Oh, that might be a little too hot. We're safe in my suit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where's my ship? Hey, who the fuck took my ship? <sighs> Dude, where's your ship? Dude, where's my quantum moon? <laughs> Got him! Wasted everybody's time. <laughs> I think we got uh, sidetracked because we were we were passing the baton. Hey, hold on. Check out who's here. <gasps> Oh, that... I gotta adjust that. I had to move this camera back. Oh. I like how it's vaguely psychedelic with the music. Mm -hmm. Looks like Bowser was sitting there playing Guitar Hero. Because he's got the guitar right mm -hmm. there. I think I need to also adjust the camera, but I'm always afraid to open Razor Synapse, because Razor Synapse is a... <laughs> God. Poof. Awful! Sixth location. Yeah. That's Whoa. all the question marks. Ah, it's a lot of shit. Well, 
Well, you did a lot of talking. Mm -hmm. Actually ended up working pretty well time-wise, too. Yeah. Cool. I guess next up is the Ash Twin, at least, to, um... Jesse, do we... Should we go do the... Um... Mm -hmm. They're both at the same location. Yeah, well, I was gonna say, question. should we should we go do the, the silly... Not silly, the, the other ending before doing the great heist? Oh, it's up to you. I think you can... You can continue the game after... I would try to get the alternate ending first. Just yeah, because that's... the finale yeah. is going to be a nice time to stop. Yeah, that's... Okay, I'm down. Wait, we want to go to this one. Ah. Ah. Oh, Tarks. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Tarks, I was happy you were there at Clone Hero. I was at least happy <laughs> someone was, was watching. That's good. Also, uh, the the band footage of Freebird, because <laughs> uh, Twitch definitely muted that on the on the VOD. No DMCA though. To get a kazoo version of that. I was thinking of a MIDI one. Oh, that's good too. But um, then I would ha I would have to map it myself, and I don't want to do that. Ah. Well, I just meant for the VOD. Oh, no. YouTube cares less about it. I won't get a strike. It's just I won't be able to make money from that VOD. I don't know. That's why we're here. <laughs> it was ours, Dad. That's right. That's right. The... Oh, there. It just started. Um... Perfect. My old man body could not wake up from time for the end. <laughs> That's okay. My old man body, surprisingly, was like pretty awake at the end. Uh, I really enjoyed playing. Um, shout out to Grunt Fodder, who also kept me company during uh, Panel to Pond and Tetris Attack and all that. That was fun. I had a great time. Shout out to everybody for <laughs> raising money and watching yeah. us play Mario Party. Hundred uh twelve hundred bucks. Oh wow. Just over. Bucks. Uh, not so including the Twitch revenue. Oh, you Is know that, what? Um what? I need to put on my suit. Put on yep. my suit. Put on my dancing suit. Um, well, is that a hard. record? Is that a record for the for the channel, raising money? I think so. That Marty was Mar Mario Party was ten hours. <laughs> Uh, we will have a roundtable at some point discussing the future. We're still going to do Mario Party, uh, but handling it in, <laughs> in the future. I would love to hear ideas. Um, Tweak it. Limited duels. Tweaks, exactly. I think one. One Certainly duel one. per game, per person. Is maybe an idea. I also thought of something of, like, I don't um, necessarily need to adjust values, if we all keep track of it on the Google Doc, then I can update every uh, mm. every like twenty turns. You have your offshore bank account. That'll be harder to like for viewers to watch and enjoy. No, no, I got ideas. Okay, cool. Yeah, I would I would say also duel should have like a max number of stars that you can win or wager mm -hmm. because. I, As it is right now, you're incentivized to, like, counterpunch, where it's like, oh, somebody... Or, or, like, you want to be aggressive with yours because you want to rob other people of their stars so they can't challenge you for all your stars. Right, stars. right. Um, I never dueled, because by the time we got to the... By, by the end of it, I'm just like, uh, I just got one with this thing then. <laughs> <laughs> it was long. It was very long, but we I were all troopers. very long. Katie was a trooper. Uh, Where's this gosh darn thing? There's okay. This Bowser is the was the one. real trooper. Yeah. Bowser is the real trooper. He almost got the max amount of coins, and then everyone got it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that thing's gonna get removed. I that was that was that was added. Which I was almost fine with with for Steve because it encouraged Steve to like play the game more than just get coins sure mm -hmm. like the purpose of the game is to get stars and he was not going for that 
I think we're too close. I mean, I guess the purpose of Mario Party is whatever you do. It's what you make of it. But <laughs> to, to win, you have to get stars. Yeah, More you ultimately to to win with stars. Oh, go. Sorry, Katie. I was just saying, you ultimately win with stars. Mm -hmm. uh, Ed says, I, I think, think it needs to be... Turn game. In a 50-turn game, I'm happy for people to make their own <laughs> their own little <laughs> ways to win. More things to sink their coins into, uh, Ed suggests, and I agree, I feel... and I had some thoughts about that, too. But I was thinking maybe, like, with duels, if you're going to duel, you put your whole amount of money you have on and No matter what? Yep. Raise the stakes. You want to duel? Well, this is what you get. Gonna cost you. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I, I'm... We, I did end up figuring out what was going on with the controller stuff um, on that last one, Jesse. Once we realized, oh, I needed to, like, update the base. Uh-oh. The base um, mapping before we can adjust the in-game or the in-emulator mapping. Am I in a bad yeah, way? Yeah, got it. You're, like, off to the side of it. I'm just more. I just want to see that thing coming. So if, if, if I'm oh, right. I see. Okay, there it is. I think we'll be able to get it. I think yeah, more things to sink coins into, but also just like it could just be like yeah, every ten turns, whoever, only the person in last place keeps any coins. Everybody else gets their coins set to zero. Because <laughs> then it's like yeah, fam, you need to donate again because I have no coins. We'll chat about it. Um, I don't yeah, want to yeah. think too much, too hard about it right now, because no it's, problemo. It's one of those things. I'm like, I have ideas for future things, but man, I don't want to think about staying up another 24 hours for <laughs> at least a couple months. Sure, that's yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> okay. Well, what we need to be thinking about is how to get this, what this alternate ending could be. What'd you pause it for? Because I'm thinking about what this alternate ending could be. Uh oh. I thought it was just a rhetorical question. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. Just get into the Ashwin project first. Okay. Don't know that I ever notice these little purple bits. Um I've noticed floaty things, but And yeah. There you go. Ed says, uh, offer star theft insurance for some number of coins per time. That's that's a good idea. It's yeah. just a lot of, like, maintenance. I like that idea. Um, and that actually kind of plays into an idea I have, but I want to I flush it out a little bit before I actually get there. Alright, so we're in the Ashwin Project. So... What are some thoughts on what the alternate ending could be? Um, or like other things to interact with here? Well, we would um, zoop to another place. No, but Jesse's saying it could end here. Right? That's what you're saying? Yeah, there, there is an alternate ending here. Oh, um, wow. What is this too? That's uh Oh, that opens this thing. Okay. Yeah. So what is the... What is the purpose of the Ash Twin Project? There. Oh my god, you closed yourself inside? Yeah. <laughs> was, was that it? No. Okay. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> well, I wanted to try it, and I guess I succeeded. You did. Um, it might not ruin things. <laughs> no? Uh, uh, maybe tried to not. take the core out. You maybe know. it'll open again. Oh, good good idea. Nope. It didn't. Uh, unfortunately. Um, well, okay. While, while we're stuck in here, we got some time to think. 
Um, yeah, so what is all the, the purpose time. of the... We've got all the time in the world to think about what the purpose of the Ash Twin Project is. It's to send information back. It's to like jump back 22 mi seconds or minutes. How does it? How does it do that? Via this thing, with the uh, the black hole and the white hole. Thing. And also, that's that, that's right. But also, what else? Hmm. Hmm. Real quick, this looks like a 90s Taco Bell. The seating, it does though. Oh, the colors? Yeah. 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 I see that. Um, so, so in addition to the black hole, white hole core, what needs to happen for them to send the information back? The sun needs to explode. Bam! Yeah. Uh, and then what, so what happens when, when that happens? Like when the sun explodes. It the, powers the sun station. Yeah. Well, yeah, it, the, 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 the energy gets sent here and then what happens? Isn't this supposed to, well, aren't you supposed to be just like, it wasn't the purpose for this to get enough power to go to another solar system so they can basically keep going because they found out this place was had a dying star in this or whatever mm -hmm. no it was to um they're basically uh the purpose of this is to send information back in time uh -oh. so that oh you're gonna run out of oh you got oxygen um the only way they could find the eye of the universe was visually by shooting out a probe Oh, but, right. It's the eye of yeah. the universe thing. Yeah. There's no way they could scan all the universe in their lifetimes. So yeah. they instead created a time loop so they could scour it. <laughs> and the time loop would go infinitely until it suddenly, um, until it eventually found something. Yeah. I think I'm screwed in here, by the way. I don't think there's well, any way my, out. Well, my, my question is, look how quickly you're, you're traversing the globe. <laughs> Yeah. Like, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> um, Everywhere, nowhere. So when the sun goes supernova, all the information is sent back in time. Um, I wonder if something physical could be sent back in time too. And so you might be in just the perfect spot to see what happens when when the sun goes supernova. Okay. Because this is this is where. The thing that sends you back in time is here. But we haven't been here when the sun is going supernova to witness it. That was that powered. Yeah. Um, you've always been somewhere else when the sun goes supernova, and then you just, your body gets vaporized, and then you start a new loop. What if you were right here when the sun goes supernova? Hmm. Ugh, the warp core. Your so only my only question is, is it, do you have to be in this chamber? I actually don't know. I can't remember where you have to be. But you do have to wait until the sun goes super low, unfortunately. So we'll have some time to talk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ed asked, uh, or Ed mentioned in chat, um, forget which Mario Party it has it, but there's one board where it has a Monopoly-like Monopoly -like board game mechanic where you are constantly investing coins. I think that might be five. Might be five or six. Six has some weird That's stuff. Cool. I like that. Um, and then I also thought of Fortune Street, which is similar to well, it's more like Monopoly, but different. I'm still reeling from how good some of you guys were at that NES board game we played. <laughs> that was fun. Like, that was one of it's this. <laughs> I thought that was actually one of the one of the more fun four player yeah. things we did. It's um, always nice when we're all on relatively even. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, I try to with the games, but sometimes it's just, well, uh, like, yeah, Fight Crab sure, is sure. one of those, like, I thought this game was just, like, hard enough to control, but apparently since I played it for, like, a half hour beforehand, I had a mm -hmm. severe upper hand of just being like, no, I know basic movement, and everyone's like, I don't know what I'm doing! <laughs> yeah, what? it's just, I don't know, yeah, a lot of those games that are, like, uh... 
the whole point is ha that it's difficult to control. Mm -hmm. They're just they must be so hard to like balance and, yeah. and make it so that it's actually engaging to play in a very small window because normally it's not. But things like Quop and stuff are just because of how simplistic they are. Mm -hmm. I did give Ryan a sweet rocket punch though. Nice, yeah. Daikatana was Daikatana. fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Which, was that the, like, John Romero or yep, whatever? Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. That was so bad. I was so close to, like, snatching yeah. that W, and I just was like, I can't kill Ryan! He figured out how to move! <laughs> Every time I found someone, they're like, wait, no! And then they they would find the... They were able to just move off screen. I'm like, god damn it. <laughs> but that was fun. Three kills by just... Punching people in the head, and just like. Ugh. <laughs> I like a move yet. One thing that I I, I think I mentioned to uh, Katie and Ryan that I thought was a was a complete success was I, th I liked chat voting on games. Yeah, I I really like that. I that um, and we'll be able I to. I especially like spamming the votes too. Just be like, wow, everybody's really pulling hard for this one. <laughs> we'll be able to. Um, We'll be able to, I think next time I'm just going to make sure that we test every emulator for the proper controls. And I think that will ease the burden on, uh, or ease ease the, the anxiousness whenever an N64 game popped up. I'm like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. <laughs> um, quick question. Did we realize what we have to do to make an alternate ending here? Be in here? Wait. Yeah. It, it's, it has to do with the Gotta end wait. of the run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's when the sun goes supernova. Um, and I think being in okay. here is sufficient, but I'm not 100% sure. So being in here when it goes supernova, because this is the project, oh, we'll probably see how it works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, we'll see how it works <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't know i don't know how else to explain no, it that's, yeah. yeah that's absolutely right and maybe there'll maybe be an opportunity for something in, in that moment or we just watch it i don't know and since we we're in the vicinity the sun. Hmm? what was that we, we become the sun we become the sun we are we it's our big head it. just like mario <laughs> galaxy's uh menu yeah well there's Three trees in here so we're good as a star. <laughs> i can use all my oxygen <laughs> You're gonna crack your head and die, <laughs> and your dead body is gonna get sent back in time. <laughs> um, but yeah, the the whole goal for Mario Party Five will be shorter. It is so funny that you just trapped yourself in this little room. <laughs> I thought that was it. I legitimately that so, thought that was what. That's it, really. Yeah, it, it's that's really smart. Honestly, it's a really smart idea. They put it in a place where I kind of had to get like creative with my, the angle, so I'm just like uh, around and yeah, <laughs> and then it closed. I was like, great. They couldn't think of putting a little latch in here to open it up, though. <laughs> yeah, the no one thought of everything except for that. It's like been... locking yourself in your own trunk. I mean, they probably <laughs> didn't expect you to do it. It's like a dead body in here when it opens up. <laughs> oh God, so so random. You, what if you need the gravity to be working? Uh oh, mm -hmm. I don't. What's happening? I don't think you do. Huh? Oh no, that's the. Why is the gravity doing it anyway then? What do you mean? Like, gravity doing what? Why is the gravity working? Like, why is this spinning? That means that. Oh, it's not spinning. The he's he's just doing it. Probably yeah, spinning. I'm, I'm just spinning around. Yo, it's spinning. Yeah, no, think, no, 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 no. I'm talking about gravity yeah. in here. There's no gravity. I know, because he turned it off. So I'm wondering why they had it on in the first place. Or turning it off, what did around. it do? Did, they make, did it make the planet stop spinning? Or just the inside? Oh, just... well, yeah. Since you're at the core, I think there is no because you're being pulled. It's happening equally in all directions. Okay, I can hear it. It's happening. Unless that's just the planet with this. Maybe that's just the. I don't know. 
Oh, the music just got <laughs> really excited. I heard rumbling, so. But I think that was. I'll look up YouTube video really quick. You think that's just regular class? Probably um, see-through aluminum. Ooh. Aluminium. Mm -hmm. I like the music in here. Mm-hmm. They only had 22 minutes to read the IKEA instructions, no time to install the escape catch. <laughs> oh, that, okay. That rumbling is just the planet going around. Check your map. No, no Check your map real quick. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's, it's the end of the end of the loop. So I, I think you're fine. I think you're in a good spot, so. Cool. <clears throat> now, Katie, you mentioned the trunk of cars. Trunk of cars have ways to open it from the inside. I know. But you don't usually lock yourself in one. This is like the, the refrigerator that they put a raptor in. I'm just saying... You don't step into your trunk of your own car and lock yourself in it. Well, what if you did? Well, that's why they have latches, because people have done that. But I'm saying if you're an all-knowing being from, or not all-knowing, but if you're a sentient being from another world, you don't think of it. Hmm. They make mistakes. Well, that's why they didn't put a latch in here yet. They made That's a the mistake, is they didn't put the latch in here to get out. Yep, yep. That was that was their Benomai's big mistake. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> their one regret. Well, oh, let's hope this worked. Just don't take it out. No, but it don't says, crash into it, says it either. To it. <laughs> it says to remove it. Oh, it opens for you. Shit. Why'd you pause it? Because I I want to make sure I know what to do. Yeah. I think I I, I think you just stay here. Okay, yeah, I think you're here. just watching oh, it. Keep looking around. Yeah, yeah just, just, it <gasps> just sucks me. It in. warped you. Mmm. <laughs> it ate you. Is there gonna be two of me? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go change in the future like that. Oh. Mission mailed. <laughs> I think you're just restarting. I'm so confused. Hmm. Interesting. Then what Maybe did we just left. do? What do you mean, what did we just do? We just wasted 22 minutes. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> Like waiting to see me in the seat. <laughs> Turning around and be like, hey. Maybe if you go back yeah, there, you'll see you a dead body. That, Star Fox. <laughs> Wait, go back to your map? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Do you see that? Well, now. Well, we oh. gotta go back there anyway, so. Yeah, I I, it, I didn't until you said. So. I'm like, there's something weird weird going on. I think, but Jesse's too happy. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. So who are you? Who are you playing as right now? Mario. <laughs> Mario, Super Mario, Mario from we the Super us. Mario Brothers. <laughs> which which version of you? 
the only me is me. Is the only you you? <laughs> As is a snap, you can give yourself a high five. Yeah. There's a gap in the door. <laughs> it leads to another universe. What would you guys do if you, if you if you met yourself? Uh, are we the same age? Are we like exactly so the same? I want to hang out. Yeah, same same age. I would, would challenge him in Tetris Attack. <laughs> what a good answer. <laughs> I'd want to hang out. I want to hang out. Mm -hmm. I'd probably just tell the truth. For once. <laughs> <laughs> well, after we're done making out, then... <laughs> Kill him, before, kill he him kills before he kills you. Kills me. <laughs> no. If that's what you're thinking, then yes, you have to. I don't think I could kill another person. I don't know if... Then again, I don't know if the other me could kill somebody. Oh, maybe I should kill them first. <laughs> They're sitting duck. <laughs> They'll never expect it. <laughs> yeah, I'll, ne I'll never expect I'll never see <laughs> I would. I would that, that is really a, mess um, up some Zoom meetings mm -hmm. by doing some really funny things, I think, is what yeah. I would initially do. <laughs> Are you free next Tuesday? Yeah. Like, I would um, get up and then, like, immediately have me also sit down. Yeah, Dan, yeah. They're, they're doing some great great work. They've, uh, you've missed their whole encounter with Solanum, so they've, they've, they've finished that, they talked to Solanum. Um, and I'm now, um, that guiding them towards one of the, uh, no. one of the alternate endings you can get from the Ashman project. This is what we want, I believe. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and spoil, um, so turn, turn off your record, turn off your headset or whatever, if you don't want to hear spoilers for, um, altered, the Altered Carbon series. Um, there is, uh, and anybody who the call, stop me if you don't want to hear this. Altered Carbon? Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's on Netflix now, but oh, it's like a book okay. series. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like a hard-boiled detective like oh, sci-fi okay. sci detective story basically gotcha um where there's like you know multiple bodies and like you can download your consciousness into like different bodies and stuff okay no i i i, so, I don't care go ahead yeah tell it and I, I i really like the books um so in the in the third book in the series there's uh the main character who's like this like you know super like secret agent kind of thing um they are being hunted by a previous version of themselves. Like, you, they're they're like a classic kind of like bad guy turned good kind of detective. Like, mm -hmm. uh, and they're being hunted by a previous version of themselves that's still a bad guy <laughs> um, and hates uh, hates what they what they've become. Like, you've gone soft, you know. Like, can't believe I've become this, and like wants to kill him. And one of the best twists in that uh, book is <clears throat> the whole time that the main character has been like relying on their like good, good, good friend um, from way back in the day. And you eventually find out that like that good friend that they've been relying on has also been helping out the other version of the main character um, because that is closer to the person that they remember you being. Um, and so you end up be, like the main characters by this like really good friend of theirs because that person had to choose between the two versions of them, uh, and it was just really really surprising. It was really cool. That's funny. Whoa. Uh, that's cool. Um, like yeah, I I I'm still your best friend, just not this version of you. I'm that version of you's best friend. That's that's a little sad too. It is. Sad. Well, when you live like thousands of years, I mean, yeah. people change. Mm -hmm. People change. People change. Did I have to wait again? I, I forgot. Give myself a high five. Um. What do you mean? Did I have to wait again for this? For that? Ah, I think we'll be all right. Yeah, it's next orbit. You should be able to get in. Go ahead and throw yourself on that cactus. <laughs> You are here, you are here. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming, me. Don't worry, me. This is gonna end with a... 
God, I was gonna say less than Jake. That's not the band. <laughs> Jimmy Eat World, my own worst enemy. The <laughs> 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 freeze frame. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm my own grandpa. <laughs> I'm my old grandpa. Maybe that. Please tell me why. I have not read um, The Quantum Thief. Uh, I'm going to look it up, though. Hey, bud. He's looking up at me. Oh. I'll fix this scene later. There's a butt. I see a little butt. Hold on, mm -hmm. I keep him there. Eh. I'm trying to reach. It is a heist story set in a futuristic solar system that features a protagonist uh, modeled on Arsene Lupin, the gentleman thief of... Oh, this is great. This is absolutely incredible. Yeah. Oh, thank you for the recommendation. This is so good. Little boy. Aw. Good boy, Bows. Good boy. I knew the scene looked weird. I will not spoil myself. I will. Good boy, Bows. I like things that have to I'm, do with time. I'm almost done with, uh, almost done with my current book. I'm reading, um... Priory of the Orange Tree. It's like uh, it's like Game of Thrones, but more feminist and actually has an ending. Um, <laughs> that's pretty good. Okay. Whew. <laughs> It was fun uh, playing uh, three-year-old with uh, with Sharon. Here he is. He's right there. Here he is. Oh my god. <gasps> Whoa. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you think it's okay? There's two of us. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Hasty segue. Hasty segue. <laughs> so, hey, what do you think happens if you don't jump into the black hole again at the end of this loop? If I don't, then where did you come from? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Talk to him some more. Talk to him some more. Do the... Ah! ah. <laughs> so two of us is great now, but is it the greatest? What about the day we, you know, what about that one? Are you talking about the day I... <laughs> Talk about the other one. Oh, yeah, that makes way more sense. Yeah, the writing in this game is so good. Mm -hmm. I just want you to do the ah one. I <laughs> the will. screaming one is good. Just what a figment of my imagination. When you start fighting and it's the only combat in the game. Don't that black hole was a terrible idea. Mm -hmm. Hello. So yeah. So basically, 
if you don't end this loop by jumping into the black hole, then it causes a time paradox. Are we? Would you get more of you if you kept doing it? No, because it it just can it continues the cycle, right? Oh, okay. Quantum magician. So many quantum books. Yeah, the bounce bar of weird time stuff. That's very. <laughs> that's a very good luck. So could I just uh, meditate then? You can. Yeah. You, so. Yeah, basically, if you if you do not if you end this loop in a normal way, like say by dying, um, why don't you just die really quick? <laughs> that will give you a time paradox ending. Uh, uh, meditating will not, uh, or maybe it will. I don't know. Well, it wouldn't be hard to die, so. Yeah, I've done I it all the time. To break, like, just go complete the game now. I just I don't know because then you won't get to see the alternate ending, but you you could. I mean, the uh, the alternate ending is just gonna do. It's just gonna be like you've created time paradox. You've already seen that kind of like the fractured. Yeah, it, we've already time like seen paradox. that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you don't you don't have to. Yeah. You could just we've already the seen that. So that's how we create it. I feel yeah. like we should end the game and and that guy will live then. And there's two I of mean, us. Kind of. And we've mastered we time, time, it. time, time. Oh. <laughs> Nobody has to die. It's true. <laughs> Nobody has to die. Yeah. If you if you See, think about how come the causality of this, I'm so mad. Our guy doesn't <laughs> play an instrument. Oh, that's true. You should play an instrument. That'd be so good. Um, so this could create a time paradox, but I don't think it will, right? Because if you do go to the eye of the universe, like basically, if you take the core out. That creates the black hole from being formed, which prevents you from closing the loop. So then how does that version of you, how did he get there, right? So it could create a time paradox, but I think it'll just end the game. I think it'll just end the game. I, don't uh, I mean, if it doesn't, then... Whoop. What Was that just perfect timing? I don't know. You've, you've had that happen a few times. Yeah, that so. was just timing. Yeah. Well, should I turn the gravity what? back on or something? Oh, maybe you need gravity? No. I don't think so. There you go. Oh. Okay, cool. This isn't the end of the... No, it's just, the it just plays the music? music. It is, but it, it just plays it because you're taking oh. the core away. Supposed to be, uh, supposed to make you think. Yeah. Joe, listen. <laughs> listen to reason, Joe. <laughs> That's a variation. It is a variation. I, I, I like it a lot. But it started off with the same synth, which was why I was like, hmm, wait a minute. I can't tell there's a difference yet. Oh, it's a, yeah, there's, it's a clear difference. No, it, it's, it's different. Do we need to go through and shoot, um, ooh, the signal scope into the, the right yeah, one? Yeah, we're going to have to, yeah. Yep. Okay. You might be able to get I mean, it. Unless you know when the brambles where it is. Yeah. I mean, we could just shoot a signal scope in that place. Didn't towards... the audio market? Yeah. The, we could, um, the we vessel could... doesn't have an audio thing. But... Oh, okay. So check, we can. Check your I... map. Your map probably just the ship log. Okay, I'll do it when we get inside.
Stress beacon? No, 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 no. Go to the map. Ship log. Sri ship log. Yeah. yeah. The vessel. Go. Yeah. Yeah. So it said mark location on HUD. Yay, maybe. Oh, okay. All right, then we just need to go towards go. the right. Which was it, red? Oh. Uh, yeah, go to the red. Is this, this, is this the one where I, I need to boost? to glide. I believe so. Okay. Yeah, this is the one you need to just glide through. So you're at you're at the end of the. Oh, I'll let you glide past these guys. Um, very nice, very nice. So one little trick about Dark Bramble is that anytime you enter one of those seeds, it resets your speed and orientation. Okay, so no, so no matter how, how fast, fast you're going in, got it. Okay, yeah, as long as you don't touch anything, you will always skim right past those. And yeah, you don't need to like boost through or anything. Yeah, totally. I'm just I got him. I got him going. <laughs> I thought it uh, made a little bit of a difference. I didn't think it was like super. Um... I d it took me a while to figure that out too. Yeah. All right, so we go towards there then. Mm -hmm. Be careful for yeah anglers though. Yep. You can look behind you to see how far back they are. I'm not moving until we're. In there, because it confirmed yeah, we've been mm -hmm. we've been good in here so far. So I'm just gonna get a little closer. Gonna hit it. Okay. Okay. Um, there is an anglerfish that will try to get us, though. I believe. Not with that one. Not with this one? Might be. Not with the right, hole we're just, going to. Just, just be on the lookout. Yeah. Yeah, just there go. are there are more in go, this area go, than go. that. Okay. There are more in this area than those three. Yes, there's one up there. Like one right up there. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, there was totally one right there. We're gonna hit that. Yeah, you're going Let's right go. into it. Do the fish eat Harthians? Yeah, they don't eat anything. This is also it's it's it sustains them. The dark bramble sustains them. It's dark matter, right? They eat dark matter. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean you don't eat it. And wet yourself in there. There we go. All right, I don't remember the the code. I think it's in your ship log. Uh, it's oh, I'll re I remember it. It's like L, ooh, gravity. Um, L X N. Should we go take a look? Check the ship log. I think it's in the ship log. I mean. Oh, um, yeah, you need to get in your ship though. But look in the or, bottom, or, or if if you guys remember it, then. So look in the bottom left of our UI, says Teledan. Mm. Oops. I know what it is, hey, though. I'm I could describe it for you. There. Okay, cool. It's right there. Yeah. Cool. Okay. That's nice. Hmm. So just across? Uh, across and up, so like skip the next one and do the one after it. I see. Yeah. Okay, we can skip. <laughs> Bank. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Good memory, Ryan. We did it like, or we saw we got here last week. Yeah, and I think we actually did two of them. That's why I remember. This is so exciting. <laughs> Is that the moon? That's the moon. That was the moon. Jesse, That's can I ask God. you a question real quick? Sure. Are we in a time? Oh, since we're out of there, we're good. You've warped, so you're you're good. Not gonna run out of time now. Okay. I didn't think they would, because that's good design to not. But wait. I just wanted to make sure. It wouldn't wait, make wait, sense wait, wait, to. Wait, 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 wait. What's up? Move the marble back over. This one? Not that marble. You want to move one. it back up? Yeah. That's just going to bring the ship thing, isn't no. it? No. No, not this one. Oh. Not that one. Not that one. There's more marbles? That one going around to the other side. This one. I don't think there's any other marbles. This one. Other side. Yep. That okay. going around to the other side. Yeah. Got it. Um... No, go in there. Hold on, let's check this place first. <laughs> While we're here, we're, there's stuff to do, maybe. No, that's... You think that that's... That is what you do. You think that's where we need to go? Yeah, because yeah, we've already been down here. Yeah, I think it'll take you, like, okay, to okay, okay. where we need to go. I'm just making sure I'm doing my, my gamer senses are just like, what if there's stuff to explore, but okay. Alright. In? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we're here. That ship looks cool. Yeah. If you want to go back to the vessel now, you can, I guess, but... I mean, no. I'd have to jump and go. <laughs> I bet you could get back. Wait, look <laughs> at your this. Your gravity is 2.4. Oh, 2.5 gravity. Yeah. No, your gravity yeah, is way is too cool. crazy. Yeah. Okay, never mind. You can't get back. You're completing the Nomai's mission. Like nine million something 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 and fifty six found it or fifty eight. That lights an anite uh, fish. It's coming to get you. Nah, that's one of the systems. I know. I'm not. Exploding. I'm not serious. <laughs> I mean, or it could be the the white hole station. Are we gonna find more Noma here? No, wait. It really no, said no. no nobody's been here yet, right? None of the group that we yeah, that was first. in our galaxy, as far as we know. Nowhere this is supposed to be the eye of the universe. So no one in the universe has been here. That we know <laughs> of. Because no one's Wolf. been able to contact the other group. <laughs> Star Wolf just comes out of nowhere and shoots you. <laughs> yeah. Can't let you do that, there Star you go. Huh? <laughs> oh, now you're tripping Jeez. out. Oh, well, that was nice. Trees are good. Oh. But everything's going all quantum on ya. Oh, there it is. Only Solanum could sky. be here. The same thing we saw in the moon. Oh, that's cool. We started at the north of it, and now we're going to the south. And the moon, mm -hmm. we had to go from the south to the north. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on the moon, this was in the North Pole. Cheese. And when we went to it, we went... Blue cheese. Marble cheese. Do we jump in it again? Probably. Can we jump in there? It's a spooky place. I mean, I can't jump anywhere. This is the eye? Like, what a... That's the eye. Go... I don't think That's I can climb the, the cheese. Oh. <clears throat> the only place to go here is down. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Okay, got it. So that that is 
That is what happens. Okay, so it does it does cause the game to end. Um, <laughs> you were doing everything correctly, by the way. You did nothing wrong there. That was the our other half. Our other half was still alive. Because uh, you didn't jump in. It's because you didn't jump in the black hole. That's incredible. That's right, we'll so do funny. It. We'll do it again. Uh, <laughs> oopsie. Boom! You destroyed the fabric of space time. That was the end of the loop Ooh. on that side, or on yeah. the yeah. back home. Okay. I guess. Oh my gosh! Really? That seemed. That seems like re it was really short. No, it was actually pretty long because we talked to our person. I agree, Ryan. It felt like. But I we thought still that had plenty of time, time for a normal thing. But we had to wait for the sand the first time. Then we had we talked, which when we were last mm -hmm. on that. M that area, I don't think it stopped time. That's incredibly funny. <laughs> That's incredibly and funny. You destroyed the fabric of space. What a good way to end. You're like, I think I'm doing it right. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank oh, nice. goodness. Oh, it starts you here. That's they That's thought of everything. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy That's shit. Really nice. That is that's oh, very good. nice of them. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you. so much. <laughs> All right, so our other dude is just gone. Yeah. Or He's, whatever. Yeah, he died. Our doppelganger's gone. Okay. That's, oh, by the way, uh, they released the oh, schedule. Phew, I thought we were going to have to wait at past. I know. Yeah. I'm so glad you don't, yeah. They released the schedule for uh, SGDQ, and there is a, an Outer Wilds run. Yes, that's a, awesome. It is one hour. 100%, it says. 100% an hour. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I could I guess I could see that. I'm very curious to see what that run is like. Yeah, I'll, I I want to watch that. Um I've seen a uh, no ship run of this game where they they not fully beat it, but they get here without a ship. Oh my god. Um Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty here? cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess they, I guess if they you, what do they do? If you know the code you could just uh, scoot past the the anglerfish in your suit. Yeah, but then getting to Dark Ramble, Dark Ramble's really far away. Oh, okay. Um, I know to get to Dark Ramble, they they recall a Nomai shuttle, and then they launch it at just the right time, where it just does a straight shot all the way to Dark Ramble, and you just get close enough to Dark Ramble that you can make the final journey in your suit. Wow, okay. Yeah, I guess that would be the only way, yeah, using a Nomai shuttle. And then I think to get to Ash cool. Twin, I they either teleport when things are lined up, or they like Am I jumping in here? What do they do? Yeah. They might have um they might have gotten on the walk. interloper, because oh. the interloper moves you moves between different planets. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I think I see what's happening now. Whoa, oh, yeah. okay, you just went for it. He just went in? Joe's tired. <laughs> there's, there's, there's cheese. What's cheese? The eye is a big what angler fish. Can you look like up? <laughs> Oh my god. What the? Okay. Uh-huh. Oh. What does the plaque say? The other one. The no mine ever got to see for themselves, but thanks to something. Thanks to the Hurricanes. Yeah, thanks to the, um, but thanks to their efforts, the Harthian finally got to make it. Yeah. Yeah. Like a museum of the end? This was the, this is the same museum. Or are we at the end? Yeah, but the text is different. Mm-hmm.
Yeah. So the ghost matter That's killed Solenum on all of the quantum moons except for the sixth location because she was too far away. So she survived only in that one location. <laughs> Agreed. Good. That's stupid. Oh, well. Let's go upstairs first. Before we commit to just jumping. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> okay. The universe. <laughs> okay. I guess we can observe. That's cool. They also control your gravity, so you can't slam down to the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I appreciate. It's you, crystals. <laughs> Now see, it's Idris Elba. If you just like destroy that galaxy, <laughs> now see, in my uh, ROM, my mod of this, I was gonna say ROM hack, and my mod of this with uh, oops, all anglerfish. This is a terrifying experience. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're all just colliding with each other, trying to get you. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like I'm doing anything. <laughs> The... Oh, it's quantum. <laughs> You're on to me, game. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what? Take what happened? Your signal. Signal scope. Signal scope. Breathing at you. Oh, it's you. The fuck? Again. Even the tree is like, I don't know what's going on. Wait. Yep. Oh. There you go. <gasps> Your branch always have a little like sapling on it like that, or I don't remember. I don't think it. Did. I don't think so. No, put it away and bring it back out.
<laughs> Infinite marshmallows at the end of the universe. Oh, look, it's the opening picture. Oh. What? Dude. You made it too? Do you hear music? Nope. I'm guessing your signal scope. <laughs> hey, hey. This was the one that we heard in the uh, the seed. Mm -hmm. No, that was a harmonica. Oh, was it? Oh, this yeah, guy was right. on. Um, that was. This uh, guy was on Brittle Hollow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Hey, where's the door? Oh. Ghost banjo. Banjo. <laughs> I found the... Oh, oh, look up. That's what That's what it is. Okay. There. Now you got your instrument. Yeah, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. No, you gotta find your friends. And yeah, we got Robux instrument. <laughs> Take your time. It might not even exist here. That's a good line. <laughs> Where was this guy? Round. It's our man Chert. It's our man Chert from uh, Ember Twin. Mm-hmm. Look in the scope. Can you? Know? Oh, maybe no. not. Again, oops, all angler fish. This part is terrifying. Nope. Wait. Where's our boy? No one played the piano. <gasps> it's our instrument. Ryan, it's been you all along. <laughs> Did I... I must have... Keep it this. on. Keep what on? Keep the radio on. Now go. I mean... Reckon or rubbish. They said they all died. Oh, so he's probably on his way here. Oh, no, you're moving. Never. Yeah. He's I thought you were in one place. Here? No, I thought Joe was in one place. Well, it's moving. Oh, I had it. See, they're just miniature sons. Or did I? Did I get them? Felt like I got. Yeah, we got him. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, he's so small. Yeah, he's always been itty bitty. Small. Yeah, why is Church so small? Oh, he's always like been small. Real flat. But he's Jesus small anyway. Jesus Christ! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, all anglerfish. Fish. Oops, all anglerfish. They got me good. Like fish. <laughs> that was good. They had to throw one more in there, didn't they? They knew. They really did. It's Gabro. Uh oh, Gabro. Quiet shade.
It was nice of them to do that for me. Because I <laughs> certainly didn't. Can you run out of fuel nice here? them to do what? Mm, well, there's infinite oxygen. Anyways. Okay. Uh, they they matched velocity for me. I didn't. Have, oh, cool. I didn't press anything. By the way, if you ever find the vinyl for this, let me know because it is it's sold out, and it, I I love the art on it. Yay! Like, they all have like. Do we look up? Their lighters up. Oh, they're pointing out. <laughs> uh. Oh. Yes, they, they all have their lighters up. <laughs> oh. oh, cute. I guess the Nomai should be included. I mean, they did like. Yeah, not sure we would have done anything without them. <laughs> All right, now let's not accidentally use the ship. Unless we have to. I think we might have to. Well, I know if you did it straight up, it goes forward. Okay. Okay, or to the left, whatever. <laughs> I think it's isn't straight up like return home or something. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, that's probably what we did. Yeah. Because it goes right back to the launcher. Mm-hmm. Oh look, it's the map. Nope. Big anglerfish is sitting at the fire. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got a little marshmallow instead of a, a light. He's yeah. over the fire. We're all friends now. Now this is the way to do it, guys. Check this out. Yeah. This tastes way better. And she delicious. Sorry to, I know you wanted to be by yourself, Feldspar, but. Get to it, shirt. You do great. You can talk to Zolanum. Yeah, we can talk. Wow. So having Oh it's beautiful. So Solanum is optional content by the way. Oh yeah? Yeah, you don't have to find her and she won't be here if you don't talk to her.
Not yet. I want to talk to everybody. Cabra's so fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Up there are beasties in the next <laughs> one. Jump in. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey. Touch it. <laughs> it's there for you to it's there. touch. You created a universe. <laughs> Both you and Tarks. <laughs> <laughs> Quote Ed, my god, it's full of buttholes. <laughs> wow. So what happens to us? I imagine we're gone. Yeah. That is a weird way to put it. I don't know if that is the correct way to say that, but we're, yeah. That was really cool. That was... Yeah, I like that ending. Yeah. yeah. They really did think of everything, though. Like, a, a, a lot of the stuff in there, like, boy. like Imagine the yeah. fucking design document for this game. God, yeah, it's so so well put together. Mm -hmm. That's Outer Wilds, guys. I loved it. That's a good yeah, game. yeah, I loved it. I had some gripes here and there, but I feel like they were more on me. <laughs> um, it's hard to stream. Yeah, we've talked about this. It's hard to stream it like once a week, and then yeah. Back into yeah. I also feel like I would have liked to play it by myself, but at the same time, I'm glad I played this because at least, or at least watched it, because God only knows when I'd ever get to it. Right. That we have a tendency to do that sort of stuff. We did that with Oberdin, where I feel like yeah, in a proper, um, in the proper, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> setting, we would have just played that alone and been like, this game is incredible. Still got to mm -hmm. play it, and you know we weren't spoiled on anything, just like this. So I'm happy we weren't necessarily spoiled on it much. Mm -hmm. um, I remember hearing a little bit about some ending stuff during the giant bomb, uh, like game of the year thing they did a little while ago. Um, but I had no context for it, and I forgot it all. So mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about it. Yeah, uh, Teladan said, uh, and Stanley, you can never experience it again for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Though I feel like this you is something I can come back to. It, which is which is close. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's one of those that you can come back to like a few years later. You won't remember everything, but you'll remember bits and pieces. Yeah, but I... it'll also allow you to kind of see it in another lens and look mm -hmm. for things. Mm -hmm. I still think it's yeah. hilarious that we <laughs> the universe ended right when we got <laughs> to that fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so close. <laughs> that was good. You created a time paradox. Incredible. God, that was so fucking funny. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> you didn't do anything wrong. Well, you kind of uh, did, but. God, how? What do they? What do they do after this to follow that up? <laughs> like the mm. devs. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, feel like they got to fucking want, and everyone will buy it. I feel like they got to they can, they can really, yeah, they can really do whatever they want, but maybe 
reel it in a little bit. This was too much. No, I'm just kidding. Too much. Yeah, this that was is, uh, um, one of my favorite, favorite games. Probably my favorite like single player story experience. I would it was, say. it was an incredible experience. It was something I feel like it's hard to. It's something I, I would like to share with with people, but it's definitely something you just need to like let them play it. Okay. Or Backer, watch. Thank you, Bobson Dugnut. Bobson Dugnut. <laughs> That's incredible. Ryan, what'd you think? I liked it a lot. It was cool. I'm kind of bittersweet about the ending. Like, I think it's really cool that they started the new universe with a song. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still sad that, you know, we experienced the end of a universe. Yeah. You know, everything died, and that's sad. Yeah. Everything yeah. in the universe. But we made a new one. Yeah. I think bittersweet is a normal That's way to feel kind of the whole game <laughs> yeah i mean there was always that sense of yeah but i didn't know really until the very end end that like everything is dying like we just mm -hmm. thought it was I, well i don't know about you guys but for myself i just thought it was like our sun exploding at the beginning yeah. you know mm -hmm. and we're, we're gonna find out how to stop the sun to explode that's mm -hmm. what i thought like we were gonna do mm -hmm. it's not yeah. what happened it's not yeah, it's just every the universe is it's at the end of its time. Yeah, it's a very very poignant reflection on time, you know, the time that we have and a very cool way to handle a time loop. Yeah. Which is like, hey, you have as much time as you want in the time loop, and then at some point, you know, to see the ending, you have to just choose to be done with it, you know, take the core out that causes the time loop that will bring the universe to an end, but that's the only way that you get to move on. Mm -hmm. Look at all the stars. Cricket creatures. Cricket creatures. <laughs> <laughs> so th there is there is they one. Look more insectly. <laughs> yeah. They were. Yeah. There there's one variation on that ending that you missed. So if you shoot your probe into the eye, um, then you lose your probe forever. It's just like gone. Like you can't interact with it anymore. Mm -hmm. And at the very end, when it's like fourteen point three billion years later, and it shows the cricket creatures, then like your probe like. <laughs> flies over. <laughs> That's cool. Oh my god. Oh, we could have had our probe live forever. <laughs> this is not uh, a conscious uh, observer, so. Teladan uh, <laughs> says uh, the really impressive thing about this is nearly all core planetary concepts were from a student project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's cool. It's so cool. Yeah, what a, what a, how well done. I would love an art book for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm gonna learn to play the the core theme on the piano too. It's pretty it's pretty simple, but Yeah. Um it's just so so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Really cool game. I was, gonna, I was gonna say it would be nice to have like one of those remember those DK mm -hmm. eyewitness books? Oh like a big like coffee yeah. table book for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cause then you could have like little blurbs about each little piece. That'd be mm -hmm. really nice. That would be that would be really cool. The art the art in this game was was really really cool. Mm -hmm. um, top top to bottom, a, a an incredibly well designed experience and also mm -hmm. a a substantial one. So um, yeah, this is what a ten out of ten game looks like to me. This is it. Hard to argue. I don't really I can't really think of many many flaws off the top of my head. Maybe some like 
minor things here and there, but every game has that, so. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so good choice, Ryan. Mm. <laughs> and uh, Jesse, yeah, Ryan, for I'm... wanting to get mm-hmm. in on this. I'm happy you were here because uh, it was it was definitely helpful to have that little nudge in the right direction um, here and there. Why don't you try ba- breaking the time, the space time? Continue. <laughs> uh, Ryan, you've already mm-hmm. chosen the next game, and it's drastically different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, next Tuesday, we will be playing Castlevania 64. <laughs> <laughs> Legacy of Darkness, yes. And this is in um, in honor of the new season of Castlevania launching that's, on Netflix. That's actually why, <laughs> yes. <laughs> a good reason. Yeah, yeah um, pretty much. I've been I watched it and I was like, uh, I really want to play that game now. And it was mm-hmm. on our finalist menu, and I don't care if it's supposed to be bad. It, it's Castlevania. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I kind of agree, Teladan. I kind of wish it was a little longer. Um, in the same vein that I also kind of wish, like, I just finally I actually like continued my playthrough from that first experience that I had. But I'm also happy that I captured my first experience with this game on. Hmm. Um. When, when it first came out. I'm like, uh. <laughs> yeah. I I think it was the, for me, it was like the perfect length. Because it was like, there was that initial period of mystery, and then there was the starting to connect the dots, and then there was finally kind of realizing the kind of somberness yeah. of the actual what's going on. And then you wrap it up. Um... Yeah. Any other thoughts about Outer Wilds before we before we wrap it up? I I love the kind of metaphor or like motif of like comparing or not really comparing but like combining space travel and like camping and just making space travel and those things just feel so much more like approachable and down to earth mm-hmm. and like homely. And so when at the end, when you kind of jumped into the eye of the universe and you just saw all the lights Mm -hmm. start to go out and then you saw the lights and then you realized that there were like lights and trees. Yeah. And it's just such a cool way to kind of like bring that metaphor full circle. For sure. And like, yeah, just kind of make the end of the universe feel a little bit more personal. Mm -hmm. Um, Ah, so good. Yeah. And then, yeah, the people... Like bringing together everybody at the end. Hmm? Yeah, I I don't I feel like they weren't really there, and it was all our yeah that's yeah it was it was a projection imagination and the eye Mm -hmm. like actually predicting it for us yeah um but I still think it was really cool which I think is a cool Uh, way to do it but I also like that they didn't just overtly tell you that that's what was happening. mm Hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's just so good. And then using music to create was really good. the new possibilities of the future, mm-hmm. and like bringing everybody's kind of different touch to what the new universe is going to be. Um, just so yeah, it's so beautiful. Um, Teladan said that there is possibly some DLC coming at some point. Yeah. No, I'd heard about that. I'm, yeah, just an instant day one buy for me. Yeah. Curious to see what that is, but, or how that works in this, in the, in the context of this game, because this is, this really does seem like a self contained experience. Right. But, um, you might just teleport to a new, maybe it's like, kind of like in, um, Bloodborne, you get that new item that lets you go to a different area. So, like, you could get new coordinates and then the vessel takes you to a new spot. Mm -hmm. Um, it's okay. I hear there's a really good restaurant at the end of the universe. <laughs> it's, a, it's just a Denny's. It's just a Denny's. <laughs> I like the archaeological historical thing, like finding mm-hmm. out everything that mm-hmm. happened. But I, the only thing is, I would have problems with is the time limit in between. Just because yeah. I'd want to sit and look at things, and you, mm-hmm. when you're on a time limit, you can't really do that. Yeah, no, I, I see what you mean. 
Yeah. Um, it, I mean, it, it really works for me. Though. It's one of those things that kind of forces you to optimize your, your play to be like, yeah. okay, well, I know I need to get there. I can get there. If I get there in time, I can take my time and, and look and take things in. But um, to your point, when you first get there, maybe it was a, it was a harrowing adventure to get there in the first place. Um, so you, you don't necessarily, like... you know, you're like, oh, I got to do that again. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I could see for that. For me, it, yeah, it, it forced me to experience the game like in a shallow way at first because you can't really do deep dives very easily Mm -hmm. you have to just kind of like check a lot of stuff out at a very surface level and my tendency is to just focus on one area and completely uncover everything but this game forced me to like constantly be on the lookout for like anything new Mm -hmm. um and not get too kind of up my own ass about whatever thing that i fixated on first and it forces you to see just truly how much there is out there. Um, so, yeah, I, I really liked it. Um, let me bring this up real quick. Uh, I'm going to have to just do a window capture. Maybe the DLC is you playing the bug people. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd be into it. This is oh, the, oh, that's really cool. The vinyl. Oh, and it comes up with a hard copy. You have Kurt. Oh. Look, learn to play oh, so Church the... theme. Aw. Learn to play Church. Now you're playing with Church. Oh, they do the cool S. That's cute. The Stussy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that looks really neat. Our... Yeah. Wrangler oh, fish friends. I would love uh, to grab that at some point. Did you get the Paradise Killer vinyl? Not yet, no. I know that's that's also sold out, but I feel like I can grab... I think I saw that for like 55, 60 bucks. Aren't they selling it on Bandcamp too? Or is that just the OST? Just the OST on an MP3. Ah. Um, but... But yeah. Um, it's a beautiful experience. 22 minutes is actually a decent amount of time, but you're right, it takes a bit to get used to and comfortable with navigation mapping the worlds. So yeah, that's where I think we were hurt most in doing the, this the way we did, um, mm-hmm. was we had to re or I had to re-acclimate to the controls and stuff like that and the feel of it. Mm-hmm. But um, I still think I'd, you know, we eked it out in the end. We won. Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> we <did> won. <laughs> um, yeah, that's going to do it for tonight. I'm going to... Uh, Send y'all over to um, to Sharon. Joe's um, still a little tired, boy, and that's uh-huh. okay. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. otherwise I would figure something out, something else out to do tonight. But um, oh, that's okay. we we finished again. It, yeah. It'd be hard to transition to something new, honestly. Yeah, it would. <laughs> that's not just like here's some more oops, all chucksters. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Jesse, Katie, and Ryan for playing with me. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Joe, for playing it, and everybody out there for watching. And, yeah, that was uh, two help, hours. Helping notice things yeah. that we missed. <laughs> it was two hours. Um, yeah, I didn't realize. And then <sighs> uh, Thursday, we we're continuing Resident Evil 8 Village. Yeah. And then uh, Saturday, uh, more Control DLC. Yay. The Foundation. I think we're finishing the... Fa- I think we might finish the Foundation and then move on to the second DLC Saturday mm-hmm. night. And then, yeah, next uh, Tuesday, Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. Sweet. Wow. Good stuff I didn't coming see up. that. <laughs> Me too. I'm interested to play it. Um, <laughs> uh, with that said, uh, have a good night, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon. I'm going to start Bye. the raid. Night. It's like nine mm-hmm. seconds. Bye. Oh, tell it. Uh, I'll just message tell it in. Hooray, thanks for thanks the, for the book recommendations. Th- uh, hooray, thanks for Joe the game. Co. Joe and Co. says tell it in. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thanks for, uh, also, I feel like Teledan gave us some good nudges here and there, too, so I really do yeah. appreciate it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, good to have someone else who knows what's going on. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to send you all over to Sharon. Uh, say hello to her. She's good people. Say hi. Bye-bye. Bye.